This video is going to show how you can use an IFC in technical structures to develop a quantity takeoff report. So to import, we'll go to add model in the reference models list and browse for that IFC file. Once we load that file up, we can assign it to a group. This would be if you have several IFC models or PDFs, you can group them by the type of reference model they are, such as an architectural model. You can either locate it by model origin or use a project base point. And once we position it how we want, we can click on add model and it'll insert that IFC into our Tecla model space. Once we've imported that in, we can select on the objects and inquire in on them and see the information that was transferred over with that IFC. You can see in my inquire object report there's several properties available. We can use this information in reports and managing our model. If you go to the Tecla warehouse, you can download the Revit organizer attributes that will create a report and perform a quantity takeoff of your IFC using the organizer. If we go to the version section, you can insert this into your model if you have Tecla open or just download the files. If you download them to your model folder, you can see the zip file it downloaded and we can extract that. Once you download this folder, there is an instructional document inside of this on what to do with the following contents. So once you've imported those into the organizer, it'll make a category list to automatically bring in the IFC information sent over from Revit. So I can easily locate my floors, my structural columns, my structural foundations, my structural framing. So if I need to make changes to those objects or if I want to develop a report, it's quite easy to do that. So once we select the information, we'll select the report template, which contains the column information. We can combine identical rows to get a total count of everything. You can see that column on the left side. Now we can group objects based on a property in this template. So you can see how those are all grouped together. Now we can colorize our model based on these groups so we have a good visual. So we can clearly identify where the different parts of our model are located and what's inside of our report. We can also organize the IFC information based on its physical location and we can do this quite easily with an IFC project. So we'll create a new IFC project, we'll select our model and once we import this in it's automatically going to break it down by its location. So you can see it's broken it down into all the different levels that are defined in that IFC. So now we could report objects based on their physical location. So I could select the floors I needed. And we can also select the categories within those project locations. So I selected the structural columns between those floors and pulled up my report. Now I can create a group based on the size of those columns. Now we can click on my right pointing arrow out to Excel and now we can have that information presented in a report in Excel. That's all for this presentation. If you have any other questions about performing quantity takeoff with IFCs in Tecla, please contact your Tecla services team or post a comment below.